hello everyone welcome back to my channel Poetry Tech. so today i'm gonna be showing you my setup of my ps5 and my tv i'm gonna give you the details of the tv my headset that i use and some of the games that i have currently have on this ps5 okay but before i get into this video please head on down below hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos like this one and turn your notification bells on to get notified as soon as i have uploads on this channel okay well so without further ado let's get into the video so this is the ps5 um I, it is a disc version all right and i have my controllers here connected to the charging stand this is the sony charging stand that was released with the ps5 so these are the pins at the top here and this is what i use to charge my controllers and also wear a storm and my ps5 is connected the stand is connected here on the ps5 so i have it tucked in the corner here on the dresser all right and this is how the dresser looks. De not decorated by me, but this is where I have the PS5 and it's connected to this 55 inch 4K Samsung TV. It's a LED. It's the 62 KU 6290 series. I, I bought this TV almost oh, about five years ago. So it is a pretty, it's a pretty Durable TV, we have it for almost five years. The picture quality is great, especially when you have, um, especially with the PS5 with the new disc with the graphics and everything on there, it looks really nice. And the colors on the, on the uh, Samsung TVs are pretty nice and punchy. Some people would say it's oversaturated, but I do like it that way, okay? And it's a five-year-old TV, but it's, it kept up pretty well and you can see the bezels they're really thin still looks like a really modern TV you can't tell it's that old okay I'm gonna have that turned on in a bit so you can see but um yeah this is where I have the PS5 tucked in on the dresser okay so let me put my controller back here and I'm gonna turn it on let you see what it looks like on the TV also this is um, a sound bar that's connected to the TV and the sound from the PS5 comes through the sound bar as well as you can see I have some stuff here on the sound bar teddy bears everything sitting on top of this okay so let me go ahead and turn on the PS5 and I do have one of the um, cosmic red controllers you can see and some um, thumbsticks here on the analog sticks does feel make the um, gameplay a little more fun and more accurate when you're using um, your weapons as well so let me fire it up see that blue light looks like an alien or a spaceship or something So that's the TV powering up. And that's it. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the menu here on the PS5. So you can see. You can let me turn up the volume a little bit. So you can also hear. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go through. I got an um, assistant here holding my camera, so I'm gonna go through a few soft stuff on the PS5 um, here. I'm gonna show you some of the games I have. Some games I don't, I, I don't have much PS5 games. I only have like one that I just got the other day on sale Call of Duty. Um, so I'm gonna go through and so show you some of the games I had on here. So this is the menu, PS Store, you have the Horizon. This game's not out as yet. I think it's up for pre-order, but yeah, that's another story. All right, so this game, I'm replaying this game. I uh, completed this on the PS4. I'm gonna start this over. I started this over on the PS5. Um, 
I'm not that far in the game. I haven't played much. You know, uh, this is the Call of Duty that I downloaded. I haven't started this as yet. I'm gonna finish The Last of Us Remastered first. So, FIFA 20. That's the last one I got. I haven't got any more since then. I'm waiting on the new one. I think that's coming out sometime this month, but when they have it on sale, then I'm gonna get it. And then with the Tomb Raider, this I finished on the PS4, starting over on the 5 now. This one as well. Finish this on the 4, starting over on the 5. Battlefield 5, finish this on the 4, starting over on the 5 again. This one, Black Ops 4. Uh, this game is for free, so when you buy the PS5, just to give you a heads up, when you buy a PS5, there's a library that you go to. As long as you have PlayStation Plus, then you get a wide variety of games for free, including the latest God of War, um, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank, a couple of them. I can't remember all of them, but there's a few games in there that's free, really good games. Alright, so this is my game library here. Let's go in the library. So this you can see all these categories at the top here. So we have um, installed, we have the collection. So this is installed here. So this is the only PS5 game I have right now, as I said. All the other games, they're pretty much PS4 game that's upgraded to PS5. So this is my collection. So The Last of Us Remastered, Call of Duty, FIFA 20. Tomb Raiders, got two Tomb Raider game. I finished this one the other day, The Last of Us 2. I have Mortal Kombat, Red Dead Redemption 2, Black Ops, Rainbows. This was on a disc. Alright. Bloodborne. I have the God of War. You got, if you have a PS4 or PS5, whichever one you have, you gotta have this game. Call of Duty World War 2 Uncharted I have the Nathan Drake collection Just Cause 4 Titanfall 2 And Uncharted 4 This is the last one that came out Alright so I have Fortnite I, I've never played it but it's on, the, it's on there My son had it on the PS4 That's why it's on this game here Call of Duty Ghost Most of these games here you see they I download downloaded those for free, so I pretty much like more than half of them are downloaded for free from PlayStation Plus free games, the monthly games. I only bought a few of these games, so this is the list. All right, I'm sure you can see. Pause, look, do whatever you want to do. If you want to see uh, everything on the list, so I'm gonna scroll down, and you can see. Okay, so let me just go here, try to start up a game like FIFA 20. This game has been out for, FIFA 22 is coming out this year, so you know this has been out for a while. Okay, with The Last of Us Remastered. This is the game I'm currently playing here. Yeah, so I'm starting The Last of Us Remastered, so you can see what it looks like on the PS5 and on the TV as well. Alright, so anyone? The last of us. So I'm gonna continue because this is where I reached. Just so you can see the graphics. Alright, so I'm not getting any sound on this, so I'm gonna see if I'm if I have this output set for sound bar. Uh, sound output device. It still set to on um, the headset, so I'm gonna go here and have it out to the TV. All right, so there we go. I'm sure you heard that. Let's turn this down. Get the volume down. Right. There we go. So now we're getting the sound. So that's one thing. It was on the um the output was set to the uh, headphones. Mentioned talking about headphones, these are the headphones that I have. These are the Turtle Beach 
Stealth 600. I had these since 2016. So this, I have this almost five years as well. These headphones, I charge them. They last probably 15 hours with, with in between charges. I had the original Sony gold ones. Those, they didn't last a long time. They pretty much, after five hours, they're pretty much dead. So this one, I got this, the sound quality is good. Price is good and it lasts pretty long after one charge. So this is what I use. Okay, and also this, this what you're seeing here, this is not what I play my game on as far as the um, setting for the picture because my wife she always said it on uh, natural which is pretty much dark I like seeing my thing pop so I always set this to that's dynamic I always set it to standard so this is what I use the backlight the color and everything pops better so I use standard if I go through these, you see natural how dark that was, that's what it was before. Movie, dynamic, and standard. So that's how I play on the standard settings. So now you can see pop a little bit more. So the, the graphics on this TV is pretty good. The gameplay is smooth, no lag. And also, the control on this feels way better in hand compared to the PS4. So, <coughs> yeah, as you can see, the graphics on this is compared to on um, the PS4, the graphics looks a little bit better on this in this game because I beat this on the 4 as I said before. And the graphics on this is a little bit better, and the gameplay is more smooth. Okay, so this. I'm just giving you a little look on my setup, my TV that I use and the games I have and you can see the game library that I have. I have it's mostly PS4 games that's, that are upscaled to the PS5 versions so I haven't gotten to purchasing much PS4 games since those are really on sale. So let me go back to the PS Store and show you the call to the call of duty was on sale i got that and they have a couple more games but i'm just gonna get them one by one i'm not gonna i'm not really in any rush right now to get a bunch of games because i barely even have time to play sometimes okay let me go to the store deals so you have the categories here on the menu it's like latest collections deals Subscription, so I'm just gonna go to deals right here, and as you can see, see save up to 50%. So I always purchase a game on sale, I never buy full price, so that's one of the reasons why I don't have much games. So weekend offer, if you go here, you can see a bunch of games that they have on sale, like Ratchet and Plan. This is still expensive, so nine bucks off, that's nothing. We have Demon Souls, 36% off. That's not bad. It's $25 off. So the Spider-Man game is $29. Regular price. But that's not the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition is this one right here. For $69, it's on sale for $49. <laughs> and most of these games... These are the games in the list. These are PS4 games, but they're upscaled to PS5. So it doesn't matter. You can purchase a PS4 game and it's upscaled to PS5. All right. So that's the end of the video. I'm just giving you a quick look on my setup, my games, my TV, and how my little entertainment section is set up. And this is my bedroom. It's not like an entertainment man cave or anything like that. It's my bedroom. So, hope you like this video. If you're in the market, look, market looking for a PS5, go ahead and get it. It's a huge upgrade over the PS4 and it's worth it. The gameplay is way more smooth, it's faster. 
going in between the apps on the screen and everything okay so hopefully you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn your notification bells on for more videos to come all right peace